All right, so normally I don't show the, my build process, but I'm pretty excited, so I want to show you this thing. So this is a 3D printed cylinder, and it is awesome. And this is an 8 millimeter stainless, no, not stainless steel. This is an 8 millimeter shaft that came out of a, 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 a printer. And uh, so I printed this guy out. So that it would take these magnets and the magnets that I got, I made sure that I got an equal amount of north and south facing with the, uh, what do you call this, with the cutout for the screw. So this is north, south, north, south, north, south. But it's freaking sweet. And what I'm going to do is just to make sure that this doesn't get, this, these don't come flying out, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to acetone weld these guys on here like this. And then once I get those around, then I'm going to take and I'm going to put this ring on. I could probably get away with just putting the ring on like this. And that would probably be okay. But because it doesn't really touch the magnet, I figured I, I made these. And again, all this is 3D printed. I did that, so yeah, very cool. Got this monster ready to go. This is also a 3D printed with 3D printed sleeves on here because this is a six millimeter shaft and my bearings are eight millimeter ID, my nice ceramic bearings. So I made these so that the ceramic bearings can sit on there and then this guy goes, boom, bada boom. Now I got one other I want to show you. What did I do with that beast? Uh, oh yeah, this guy here. This guy is awesome. And it's gonna take, where's that magnet at? It's going to take four of these beasts. And this thing is huge. You can see it compared to my thumb, right? This is a, a test housing so that I knew what size to make these cutouts and I'm doing the same thing with that I've got I've got these that I made look at how cool the design is from the 3d printer that is freaking awesome anyway I'll acetone weld that on there to hold that in place and then I've got a couple of these black rings which I'll also acetone weld or I may not so that I could take it off and so it'll be like that. And because this is on a 3D printer, this thing is completely centered. You know, I'm not going to have any issues with out of balance. And then I also made a killer coil housing. I'm going to make this one either a bi or a tri filer coil. So yeah, I'm working on this guy. Once I get him, I'll get him loaded up. Uh, he'll slide right into this um, ceramic bearing. It actually does go on. I must have something stuck on the end of it. But it, yeah, there, see, it does slide on. And these ceramic bearings are cool. Yeah, there's some gunk on here I got to scrape off. Yeah. Ah, it looks like a nick. All right, anyway. Very cool. So that'll sit right inside here. I'll either use this coil. Good old Sky's coil, which always works well. Or I'll wait until I... Uh, wind this guy but once i get this thing put together and mounted i will fire up another video yeah this guy's gonna be cool 3d printed parts so i think i'm going to use these for the how for the the supports because these are a little bit beefier yeah these are a little bit beefier than these because this is an an eight millimeter shaft versus 
this guy that was on there, which was on here, has a little six millimeter shaft. And so I got this idea from my very first rotor, or the very first rotor since coming back to doing this stuff, this guy here. And I thought, wow. And actually, I could probably use this walnut housing to house this guy right here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oops. Sorry. Anyway, just wanted to show you what I've been doing. I've had to take a break from all this stuff take care of some other more important stuff, unfortunately. This was a housing that I made. It was supposed to be this one here. Oops. But I made the squares the wrong size. I think I made them too big. No, I think I made them too small. Anyway, I've learned how to dial this stuff in by making little test um, housings so that I can know exactly what uh, dimension to print at. Because I've discovered that if you, if you print what's called rough and fast, it's all over the place. You can dial in accurate stuff, but that means you have to print everything that you're doing you know, the whole thing, you have to print it rough and fast. Um, you can't print one rough and fast and come back a day later and print the other one, you know, the second one uh, standard or smoother because the measurements will be off from the CAD drawing. But I've learned that if, I, if I'm a little patient and I use the nicer settings, the ones that give you really fine lines, the, the measurement from the part you're trying to fit in there, like these magnets, is pretty close to what it actually produces, plus or minus a half a millimeter or a couple of thousandths of a millimeter. Anyway, ciao. I couldn't leave anybody hanging. That is a monster, and it's at 12.6 volts. I'm going to drop it down to 11 volts. That's using the uh, JL94. There's my load. Oops. Yep. There's the load. Using Sky's coil. Nothing is... Uh, seated but man you could see that thing is flying and again really weird I had to get it up to speed before it would kick in which is not a big deal so I'm going to try this on it but it's, it works great on this circuit I mean I love this circuit let me look at this thing and again I have this is a bifiler coil so I have it jumped so that's one single coil but I'll try to set it up where I can see what kind of voltage I'm getting off of it. And that's running on those bearings, those um, ceramic bearings. So it runs nice. A little bit wobbly there because it's not... It just looks wobbly because of these things, but it's not. If I were to take these off, you would see that the coil itself, you could see, is absolutely perfect. It's just these guys are all over the place because I just put them on there. All right, so let me set up a Bedini circuit and see how it looks. All right, I got the Bedini circuit set up just to give this guy a try again. A lot of this is just experimenting to see how my 3D printer is doing. So here we go. Here it is. A 
11 volts. Twelve point three volts. Very nice. There's my load. So if I were to turn it off, oh, there goes the neons. Oh, you guys can't see that. So if I turn off the load, being this is a beanie circuit, oh, you guys still can't see it. Hold on. There we go. There we go. I added an extra neon to this circuit because I thought I might have blown it out when in fact it was the trans uh, transistor I blew out but it works great with the Bedini circuit nice and smooth a little bit of vibration but that's because of the lousy setup not the rotor rotor is running as true as can be I got a really I got to buckle down and build a nice platform so that I can do this stuff with interchangeable uh, brackets for different, you know, different setups. So I should test the last circuit that I use, and that's the uh, hall sensor, but I know it will work. So I tried the JL94, works great as always. There's the Bedini circuit, very nice. This is so cool. Take this off, look at that, eh? It'll probably not fly out, but I don't trust, you know, because it's a real tight friction fit. So that's just there, just in case. And actually what I was supposed to do, like I said earlier, was to, um, was to, place these in there but i think that's overkill i think that's overkill oh and i put at least three of the magnets in this beast whoa look at that thing it is heavy duty it kind of it kind of cracked it i'm gonna have to weld that with some acetone it'll be all right because i've got the rings for this guy too that I'll put on here like that. Anyway, I gotta get another magnet and I either have to pull it out of an old rotor, I had to get it in here. So this is north, south, north, south. This is a heavy duty one too. I'll have to be careful because this thing is heavy. These magnets are, are monsters. But I like monster magnets. All right. Wanted to show you guys the two different circuits that I've been using lately. Bedini and JL94. Courtesy of Mr. Sky Collection. The main man. You know him. You love him. Let's give him a round of applause. Yay. Ciao.